guys, it's Lita, attempting to take a wild dump in public. Fourth is devastating. Live action role playing as a fish. Yo, yo, double C, cat crew, insane cat posse dog. What? Yo, give me some of that nip, dog. Cat for life, baby. I look like I have a girl. <laughs> <laughs> For me, Pirates of the Caribbean is pretty much like this. Okay, Rose. Can I see the drawing so far, Jack? Here's your drawing, Princess. Oh, Jack, you're wonderful! <gasps> oh, well, that's uh, enough. Okay. He's cooking. I'm just, okay, I'm gonna go without a spatula and just be all fancy, like. Jake, we're going to draw them. Hot babes, I'm gonna draw my girlfriend. Yeah. So just, oh, you don't know. Yeah. Just to make the hair. <laughs> She looks kind of like, like Aphrodite. <laughs> Aphrodite. This is Big Baba's girlfriend. Mm. You see those titties? You see those tata titties? Tata tatas? Oh. Melon she got there. Look at that. I want to take her out. Take her out to a, to a ballet. <laughs> Mmm, ballet. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna try again. Come on, big bubba. I know you got it in you. Go Yo, on, look, I laid it. Be able to open cans with not your hands, <laughs> but with your boobies. Because I had some like, I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and then I had Rockstar and then I had some, some chocolate from Ireland. So I'm like, I'm super, super, I just ripped this. I'm- Stupid bitch. Oh, what? Oh shit, wait, never mind.
I, I totally thought that my, this is a priest, I suck. <laughs> Thanks for helping me, other people who are in this room. I love it. Dude, I was like right there. You know what? I was gonna kill him, and now they're gonna take the flag. And those that priest and paladin were just like chilling there. So, uh, what's the big surprise? <laughs> All right, make this quick, cause the battery's about to die. Your hair. Round three, go! <laughs> Oh, cucumber whale's no. got the edge. No. Oh, big bird's no. got her in a headlock. No. Oh no, the crowd's going wild. No. They're all around no. us, but I'm not gonna film no. them. No, no. Oh, no. someone jumped into the no. ring. This is madness. No. This is madness. No. No. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I got this T-shirt, and if you don't know who that is, I will tell you right now. Okay, so basically. For those of you who didn't know already, um, Nathan broke up with me a while ago, like August, and so since then, I decided that I'm totally done with real boys. No more real boys for me, so I'm just gonna be, I, I'm just gonna have an imaginary boyfriend <laughs> for forever. I know, that's kind of sad. Just kidding, it's not really sad. Actually, it is really sad. But, you know, whatever. I'd rather not deal with with real boy drama because I mean with an imaginary boyfriend I can I can be like I have a boyfriend and he's amazing except we don't see each other that often and no one else can see him I can't even see him but he's still really nice you know you can be like that okay I just probably sound really crazy right now but um you know basically I'm just done done with done with real men so I wanted to show you guys this this is my Facebook status please don't stalk me on Facebook because I can't add anyone else. I can't add anyone else. Here's here's my Facebook status. Lita Bunny Muir is in a relationship with Illidan Stormrage. That's right. Is they See? want to hurt you. And if you show them that it's not hurting you, they're going to be like, ah, well that was fail. You know? They're going to feel bad about it. Maybe not, <laughs> they might not show it, but, you know, if, if something, if their plan is foiled for hurting you, if you show them that you have an immunity to it, their own poisons that they're shooting at you will be shot right back at them and they will become way more poison than they already were. To a also, very severe eating disorder for a while. And I lost over 40 pounds in a little bit less than two months. And really, I see girls who follow me all the time who talk about how they want tiny legs, tiny stomachs, thin faces, you know, bones showing. But think about this. You are beautiful if you say you're beautiful. Size doesn't define beauty and it never has and it never should. Appearance standards today should have never ever distorted weight in the way that it has. Please just listen to no one's opinions. It's going to tell you that you can achieve your goals then you have to be the one to do that. You can't fall victim to what other people think or else you'll never go anywhere. If you want to achieve something, then you do that. You achieve it because you can, you just have to unlock your potential and to unlock your potential, you have to realize that you have that potential. And I was thinking yesterday and it's, I have never led a normal life. Like I've always been the outcast, the weird kid, you know, um, and then this YouTube thing came along, and that's weird, <laughs> and so it, For the past couple of years, I've been trying so hard to live a normal life I've been trying so hard to just be a normal person so to speak, but you know For not just me, but for every single person out there and every single person watching this video You are not normal and you don't have to be normal. You don't have to listen to other people's standards You don't have to mold yourself into something that isn't truly you. In fact, you won't get as far if you're doing that. So embrace every single unique part of you and apply that to your goals and what you want to do in your future. If your goal is to be a famous best-selling author, then start writing a book right now. 
and work for years as a long-term goal to get that to happen because if you truly convince yourself and truly believe in yourself that you can do something you will do it and i can promise you that if you envision every single day what you want to do and what you promise yourself you will do you will do it and you can do it there will be things that stand in your way as obstacles and there will be people who tell you that you can't do it and who will try to stop you but you know what they don't have any say in what you do. They don't have any say in what you choose to do with your life and how well you do it. That's your job, that's your responsibility, is to decide what I mean, the when. middle of the year was where I really, really started going downhill. I met this guy at a mall who was four years older than me and he and I flew into a relationship that was quite serious way too quickly. And God, he ruined me. When I was with him, he hurt me in so many different and unforgivable ways, but he also convinced me that he was the best that I would ever get, and that if I didn't have him, I would be nothing and I would be worthless. He pressured me into doing drugs, nothing crazy, but they were still drugs, um, and into starting to smoke cigarettes. He told me I was too fat and that I needed to be skinny, and he told me that I needed to be famous. But I can honestly say that I learned more from that relationship than I have more in my entire life. So girls and boys, if you're in a relationship kind of like this and you haven't acknowledged these signs before, get out. And I don't wish for any of you to ever, ever have to experience a lot with this year is don't let others push you to the point where you don't know yourself anymore. Now this can be anybody, you know, attacking you or, um, and saying that you're something you're not, or saying that you're not pretty enough, something like that. Or it can also be someone that you're jealous of, somebody that you wish you could be, something like that. Um, just don't let it push you. You're yourself and that's it. I mean, it's, it's as easy as that. Um, I know it's kind of hard to find yourself and I, I don't even know if this is me, I don't know. But um, it is, it is kind of tough, but don't let it push you to the point where you're like, who am I even? Um, just kind of just remember your roots. Remember when you were a kid. Remember what you love. You know, don't try and attach yourself to something that you don't like, some music that you don't like to impress a boy or to impress a girl, something like that. Just be yourself. I mean, I have tons of friends and I'm, I don't even have the same interests as a lot of them. And that's, it's whatever, you know, it's easier that way too, because you, you, it's less struggle, it's less pressure. One of the reasons why I make videos is try making other people happy, because when you put other people in a great mood, it is, ugh, it's such a good feeling. One time when I went to Starbucks, I saved like $3 just so I could give it to a homeless person outside of Starbucks who asked me before I went in there um, for change. And you know, it's like, that's such a good feeling is to give someone something and make their day. Even if you know them or not. Um, be in a relationship. I know many of you have been in relationships that have just been hell. I've been in a relation, many relationships that have just been complete hell for me. And when you do find someone that truly appreciates you and truly loves you, do not forget to appreciate them too. Just, just watch who you are. Because the person that they fell in love with is most likely the person that you really are. I also want to say something, um, that someone that means so much to me said to me before. Um, it says, that is as true as the moon glows at night and the sun shines during the day. And there may be clouds, but they're always there. Okay, I love you guys, and I hope you guys have a really good day. I love you guys so much. Okay, bye. Mwah.